so the big question in this big time jump is it possible that any characters may have died within the five years? Yes, it is possible. I don't want to tell you who or if, but yeah, I mean, six years is a long time. They were only on the ground together for like ten months, and we've been now away for like. I don't know, do the math five or six times that long, so yeah, my math is terrible. Um, but you know, a lot of people died while we were on the ground, and certainly they're not out of harm's way. Some of them. You mentioned that you want to do some podcasts, so all of them have to do some Yeah. Um, what, is that going to be a big part of the season, or will it be like a big part of the season? Uh, that's a pretty big part of the season. It's definitely, um, there's a lot of cool stuff that happened in those six years, and I don't want to just talk about it, you know? Like, especially the things that were formative that turned Octavia into the Octavia that we will see when the door opens or when we go down there for the first time. Um, things under the ground got really, really... Uh, I mean, it's almost redundant for me to say dark when we talk about this show, but things got really different when they found out that they were trapped, you know? I mean, like, there's six years now they could have been out for a year. Same thing on space and on the ring, and they're not back yet. And there's a good reason why. And you know, the psychology is very different of somebody who knows that there's a five year I'm out in five. Yeah, I can live through that. But if I'm here forever, possibly you know, I'm gonna behave differently. So we'll see a lot of how that, that realization change. Things. The story is very character driven, so um, and we've gotten a chance to get to know a lot of the characters over the course of the season you guys have been around. Is there a specific character that you're really excited to kind of dive deeper into going into the six year time jump? Yeah, I mean, I always get excited about the new characters just because as a writer it's fun to create new characters, and so we're going to meet three really powerful new characters. Um, but yes, for me it's always about Bellamy, Clark, Octavia. Uh, their changes are pretty extreme this season, and so it's been fun. They're all like, fun for me to write, actually. I mean, I have to say, I love them all. Um, and I know a lot of people probably say that, but I mean, I really do. And um, those three in particular this year, they're, ch they're the sort of extreme change ease, if that's a word. Um, and so it's been really fun so far to sort of see how far I can push that, see how much we can change a person from what we know of them and still have to feel like that person and not feel like, you know, out of character. The luxury of a six-year time jump is you can't say it's out of character, really, because six years is a long time and people change. So. Is there still going to be a distinction between grounder and sky people, or is six years enough time for them to become one people? Well, you know, the story in the bunker is Octavia has saved those 12 representative groups from each clan, 12 or 13 including Skyper, and um, they are now going to have to make that work. You know? and are they going to fall back in the clans and, and isolate themselves? You know, that I think is a natural human tendency to sort of like hang out with your group of people, and, and that'll be something that is probably uh, problematic down there eventually. Uh, and so the idea, is, I don't want to talk too much about it, the answer to your question is, uh, I can't remember exactly how you phrase your question, but there, one crew is a thing, okay. right? Octavia's trying hard to create one crew down, and, and we'll see whether she's successful. It certainly won't be easy. Each season has had a major threat. Can you talk about what the major threat is? Yeah, I mean, the prison ship that comes... The, the thing about this season is we have... The, the Earth is survivable now. The radiation levels are down so that they can breathe the air, but it's still mostly wasteland, except for this sort of garden of Eden that Clark has found her way to, and you see that in, in the finale last year. And the prison ship has come down into it, and there will be lots of people aboard that ship who want this garden for themselves. And the story this season becomes, you know, one crew comes out of the hole, and they want it for themselves. And it's Clark's home, and she, you know, doesn't want to share it. And she and Maddie's lives might not be uh, what they have come to be used to. And so the the battle for Eden really is kind of an ongoing threat this season. Okay? Thank you so much.